How's it going everybody? We're back in the lab today. I want to show you how to attach yourself to existing Walmart marketplace listings. These are going to be items that you're sourcing from your supplier, distributor, uh, things of that nature. And um, let's dive right in. If you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Pretty much making e-com content for you guys. And you know, we're ramping things up here. So excited to, to, to push this content out for you guys. So, um, Let's dive right in. So essentially every listing has an, an item ID, um, an item identifier for Walmart. And you can find that item ID in the URL in the search bar. Um, so this is the item ID for this listing right here. All right. Uh, let's say that I source the item. I'm getting it at a good price. You know, I'm ready to list it. Um, in your Walmart seller center account, go into on the left hand side where it says product catalog and then items. And once you select items on the right hand side, top right, you'll see manage items. Click on manage items on the drop down. And I'm not showing this, so you're not seeing it. Um, manage items and then add items. And then that should take you to the listing page let's see okay. switching over right now okay so I just copy paste the item ID and I'm gonna plug it into the search and enter and then yes this is the item so you can see here it says there's 18 offers. It's going for $17.98. You can click more info and this takes you to the Walmart listing. So, but I'm going to hit add item. All right. So essentially this view right here, right? That you, that you first get is the very vanilla way i guess to list it um if you've listed this way it's just going to be seller fulfilled so it won't be eligible for wfs uh, you'd have to select the drop down select walmart fulfilled uh, typically items like this um you will need a, a safety data sheet but i'll talk about that in a second so we have all of this information to submit right right so um well, not all of this. So we have to enter everything in. I'm going to copy paste the G10 UPC and take it to the each. And we're going to take it to orderable. Select. Let's say it's in the United States. Okay. We'll take this in a second. My skew is just doesn't matter. So this is just an example, 1798. That's the lowest buy box price right now. So I'm just gonna match that for now. Restriction type, select none and hazardous materials. So this and this, you will always have to fill out. So make sure that you do that. Okay, and so we still need the width. So we're just, entering the information for the each G10. So each essentially means that you're sending in, you're basically classifying your listing as one unit, right? So you have to put in the dimensions for one unit. I'm gonna jump back in to the listing. I'm gonna plug in um, the information that I'm getting from the Bizmetrica software. Okay, so it's, let's dive right back. And obviously, if you have the information, you can just do it, you know, on your own in-house. And so um, inner pack, I believe, is when you're sending in two pieces or two units in one case is a case. And then if you're sending in a pallet. So this is, you know, those are the instances where you'd have to enter in the information for those. But right now we're just sending in one un unit. And that's it. So we, we have everything. And once we 
select submit at the very bottom. Sorry guys. Yeah, so at the very bottom you should see submit. I'm just moving things around for you guys. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna hit submit and you know it should go through. Awesome. Okay, so then they went through there, okay? So what I was mentioning earlier, what I what I wanted to get at earlier is that sometimes on Walmart you'll select Walmart fulfilled and you'll try to upload your listing as Walmart fulfilled and do everything that I just showed you, but it won't go through. It'll give you an error code. And essentially in that instance, you'd have to list it as a seller fulfilled item and then go through the process of converting it to a WFS uh, listing. And the reason for that is because uh, more than likely you have to submit a safety data sheet and when you're listing products on Walmart they require you to upload safety data sheets um, for your listings uh, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't but a, a lot of the times from experience they do and um, yeah so that's just something to keep in mind that's basically the process of listing existing um, products um, now Walmart is different than let's say an Amazon because you can technically quote unquote list an item but if you're gated uh, you can be gated in certain brands you know some some of the best brands um, same process right we're familiar with the process but essentially you can list the item and um, still be gated right so you'd have to contact Walmart, open up a case and submit um, an invoice. They'll request that you supply them with invoices from suppliers, you know, showing your supply chain and all of that good stuff um, to be able to sell that item. Happened to me the other day with some um, some Hasbro toys, right, for example. Um, so um, just keep that in mind. That's pretty much how to attach yourself to existing listings. If you found this video helpful, would definitely appreciate if you hit that like button, uh, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and be on the lookout for more future videos. If there's any, you know, any content you want me to make Walmart related. Um, I'm not a, an expert by any means or a guru, but, um, you know, I'll do my best to just kind of share from experience. So, um, yeah, until next time. Later.